Welcome to another helpful video tutorial for OLG Rite of Christian Initiation for Adults. This particular topic is about Catholic social teaching. Resources that have been used for this particular topic include our Journey of Faith series that we hand out to all cats and cans and also a special lecture from Notre Dame professor William J. Appleby Purcell uh, regarding Catholic social teaching. You summarize social teaching, we're really talking about evangelization. And the definition of evangelization for our purposes is building a community. So our learning goal here in this training mechanism is to gain a deeper understanding of your faith by being able to articulate what are some of the elements of Catholic social teaching. As we begin to build this community, we need to know that Catholic social teaching, CST, is really about evangelization and how it moves to transform us. So another way of looking at evangelization is then is how we can actually act out our faith. So, Catholic social teaching is really a gift of our long Catholic tradition. As you can see here in this graphic, while there are different lists that describe Catholic social teaching, here are 10 good major themes about which we need to become more and more aware. Catholic social teaching history has come from our great tradition and specifically in the more modern world through Father Virgil Mickle. He founded the worship magazine in 1926 and what he talked about was really changing our hearts so that we have a need to be a constant self-gift to others. He also talked about the tie between the liturgy in which we participate every week and local social justice. Monsignor John A. Ryan of Minnesota took that a step further in the first half of the 20th century where he talked about salvation coming through community as being a key. We live the salvation every day through the community. And therefore, he emphasized the need for changing of the basic structures around the community. As we go through all of this, we need both from above vertical prayer and worship and the horizontal in how we engage the local community. We must bring the broken community back to the liturgy and the liturgy to the broken community. We talk about justice in the world. The World Synod of Bishops in 1971 had a theme uh, that said justice is a part of preaching the gospel. And a relationship is not just with God or with one individual, but has to be about the relationship through the community and with the community. You see this ongoing theme in every slide that we talk about here. It's not just something we do personally. It's how we engage in the community to live our faith. So when we talk about community building, there are steps to evangelization in the community. First of all, we have to ask ourselves, what do we believe in? And then do we keep that to ourselves in this world? Evangelization is transforming. And what are we called to transform? Well, actually, the world. So we don't stop. We should make sure along our path not to clip our wings when we try transforming the world. Because if you don't spread your wings, you will not discover how far you can fly in this transformation. The wisdom of our faith comes from Scripture and it tells us over and over again about what we're to do in our local community. 
we are called. We are all sacred and all called to be stewards. So we find out who is being left out of the community and who needs to be brought in. Stewardship is essentially biblical justice and it's about the right relationship as with the relationship we have with the Trinity. It's all about growing, serving, and giving. Now worship is tied to discipleship and what we need to remember is that we pay the price of service by reaching out to the low income, to the poor, to the most vulnerable within our communities. That is our price of service as Christian Catholics. Now, in starting out, we have basic CST principles. The dignity of the human person, the dignity within the community to work for the common good, and the rights and responsibilities of each individual within the community. There should be an option for the poor, considered part of the community, even those at the fringes. There should be dignity of work. We are called to contribute, not just take. There should be solidarity. We are one human family. And there should be care for God's creation over the long term. Living a just life is to develop awareness, providing direct service and adequacy, and to work with others, and not just for others, to improve personal opportunity. Living a just life includes parishes most active in a ministry of service are also seen to be most spiritually active because we are called to be theological. In other words, what's in our liturgy, what's in scripture, and not just ideological. There's economic justice for all. Since poverty is fundamentally a problem of powerlessness in marginalization, the importance of education as a means of overcoming it cannot be overemphasized. As the bishops further went on to say, all of society should make a stronger commitment to the education of the poor. We want to be able to lift them up and out of their current poverty situation. And that brings us to an end of another topic in the RCIA curriculum. Thank you very much.